Hey Aquarius, welcome back to my channel. This is for Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placement. Always take what resonates and then always head over and watch your Rising Moon and Venus sign readings for additional clarity. Especially when it comes to love, you want to make sure you watch your Moon and your Venus sign reading. Um, at any time you would like me to tune into just your energy, you can head over to my Etsy shop. The link is below in every description box of every reading. I offer a variety of readings over there and Etsy is having a fall sale. So there are multiple readings over there that are on sale till October 31st. And I am still doing that giveaway till the end of October. I'm choosing um, random 12 people whether you're a new subscriber or a returning subscriber, you need to be a subscriber though. And then if you're interested, just head over to one of my earlier readings in October and the very beginning will describe the giveaway. But it's a 15 to 20 minute reading for 12 people that I'm gonna choose randomly. All right, for my Aquariuses. Solitude. Some of you might be taking a break from dating. Trying to figure out what you truly want. Might have gone in solitude after a hard breakup. Just trying to, you know, heal and go within. But a new fresh start, a brand new opportunity is on the horizon. Even if it's somebody returning, they're returning in a brand new energy. And always listen to your body, guys. If it feels tired, if it feels run down, if you're missing someone and you're the type of person that when you're heartbroken, you can't eat, or even if you're heartbroken and you overeat, just always make sure you're giving your body exactly what it needs. The rest, the exercise. I know heartbreak is hard. But you always have to listen to you, right? Between Aquarius and this person showing up. The mutual energy between Aquarius and this person. Partnership. Coming together. Wanting to work on things. Being a team with this person. Oh boy, oh, there's a lot that came out. I feel some of you need to make a decision. There is movement that's happening here, but it's like you need to make that decision to come together. If this is a brand new love, I feel like you've been dis like disinterested in what's been coming towards you, the offers that have been coming towards you. If this is somebody returning, even in separation, neither one of you are finding what you're looking for anywhere else. Look at that. Throat chakra. Somebody is going to speak. And you got to look. Two, three, four, five. Increasing numbers. And look at this. Both of you have your heart open to this connection. You have two twos and four, four. Two, two, four, four. You're going to instinctively know that this connection feels much different than any other connection. And why? Because it's a spiritual union, soulmate connection, and there's a lot of passion here. Amazing. All right, let's see what else, guys. Spirit. Okay, there's your energy, guys. I wanted to fly right out. You might be moving towards them. 
but you want that balance. The yin, the yang, the white and black horse in traditional tarot. It's like you want to move in and have that balance with someone. Could be a fire sign. But you definitely are feeling passion towards this person. And love. And they definitely, look at this. The two of cups twice. And the ace of cups. Aquarius, who is this? This person could be a water sign. Um, but they really, they're really feeling you. The current situation between Aquarius and their person. If you hear my puppy, she's sleeping. And I think she's having a dream, so she's whimpering. Current situation between Aquarius and their person. Knight of Cups. They really might be a water sign. Wanting to rush in. Wanting to sweep you on, off your feet. Wanting to romance you. Wanting this for to go long term. An honest, true connection. That you never have to doubt. You never have to second guess. Coming together and being dedicated towards one another. Working hard on this connection. What advice do you have for Aquarius during this time? Let's make that decision. You know, stop going back and forth with it. Two of wands is right there. It's like you need to make that decision. Get that balance. For some of you, it's going to be an air sign and they could have water in their chart. Libra energy. Continue to do you, Aquarius. Continue to shine. Continue to hold your energy up high and be happy with the person that you are and what you have in your life. The stability, what you've provided for yourself because you're, that person is being drawn into your, to your glow. The overall outcome. All right, there's a few. We'll take them. The Eight of Wands. Throat chakra, the communication coming in. It is definitely somebody from the past. Someone that you wanted to see growth with. You've planted the seeds. You've done the work. You had this comforting connection from the past and neither one of you can shake the thought of each other. And there is going to be communication. There is going to be growth here and movement. I do feel it's going to be very stable this time. And it's going to be solid. You may have two dogs or they may have two dogs. But you're going to rescue one another. And there's going to be complete love here. We have air. We have water. We have earth too. But it's like the growth that you've been hoping for is going to happen. I feel like, you know, you maybe had been thinking about this, but not acting on it, you know, weighing it back and forth. And so have they. Please click. Yep. They have your heart. Aquarius, can you please clarify the Two of Cups? I feel like when this person came into your life and you into theirs, it was like a tower moment. You might have even met during something that was very unexpected, a very maybe unexpected ending in both your lives somehow. And it's like you came together and it was almost like you just got each other. It was just easy. It was teamwork. I feel like this ending with this person was very hard for you both. Yeah, see, even without one another, you feel stuck. What else for Aquarius and this person? Yep. 
For some of you, it could be a Libra. But it's definitely a soulmate connection. And you are moving towards one another for not just stability, um, but to be fair. It's going to be that equal give and take. You both are going to be dedicated. And it's going to be like the happiness, the warmth. See, coming together, the five, of, the five of Cups in reverse. And bo both of you knowing that you want this connection. This is amazing. I love this for you guys. Let me pull some messages. one of my new decks and I absolutely love them if they're into it Oracle I know a few people have asked I have many decks from them they're a little pricey but it's into it Oracle and I have one two three four but yeah Jill, let's just say I have an issue with buying decks <clears throat> my other half always says if we move we're going to need a moving truck just for your all your decks of cards all your tarot decks. But it's my thing, so. All right, message. When I let myself go deeper into thought of you, I feel my heart opening. I want to let my guard down with you, but fear makes me lash out. I'm going through physical, emotional ascension of symptom, ascension symptoms. I need space to rest, but from a higher perspective, I'm releasing old energy. There are subconscious fears affecting our ability to attract love and abundance. The universe is helping us make them conscious so we can easily attract what we want in each other. I'm struggling with codependency. I'm afraid to let go of my old coping mechanisms. I do feel, Aquarius, that your person had a very hard ending that was just, it sucked the life out of them. It made them put their wall up. It made them be fearful of trusting anyone. And then here you come, this amazing soulmate connection, and it's almost like, uh, too good to be true, you know? But they're working through that. My heart is opening to love and guiding me back to you. Exactly. They're working on that. All right, Aquarius, this is your reading. Let me know how it resonates. Check out my giveaway and I will be back for many more readings. Stay safe.